So we're in our control room and basically this is just a good show point of how technology assists us in the poultry industry and it's such a huge asset for us. Tom, you want to talk us through some control panels? Okay, this is a one type of controller. There's multiple controllers. Various companies make different controllers for chicken houses these days. This happens to be a Chortronics 3, it's made by Chore Time Equipment. Rotom also makes a good truck controller, Cumberland makes a controller. There are several different brands out there. All of them do a good job, but all of them are similar to this. You've got one box that basically has your program in it, the program that house is running. That program usually comes from whoever you grow chickens for. Your service tech brings that to you. They'll load the program in there or you can load the program in there yourself if you're good about it. Some folks just as soon not touch these things and they would rather their service tech loaded in there. Other folks that are pretty, you know, tech savvy can load it in there themselves. But the program comes from whoever you grow chickens for. It's their program. You put it in here and then it takes all of this box here that's got all of these little toggle switches on it. All these little toggle switches serve a purpose. Some of them run the feed lines. Some of them run the drinker lines. Some of them run the fans. This whole row here and this half row here is nothing but the fans that we saw down there at the other end of the house. Each one has its own toggle switch, its own relay. We don't have them tied together. So if one was to go down, if one relay went out, we would lose one fan. We wouldn't lose half of them or something like that. But all of these toggle switches have a purpose. Some do fans, some do feeders and drinkers, some do the wintertime ventilation system as far as the vent doors and everything goes, but all of these guys have a purpose. And in most cases, a chicken house has a 40 stage controller. Some of them have more than that. Some of them may have 50 or 60 of these toggle switches and it may take two of these boxes instead of just one. But again, a modern chicken house has some kind of a setup like this. It has one box that has the program in it that is the brain for that chicken house, and that allows the farmer to put that program in, and then it turns things on and off. It turns the lights on and off, feeders, drinkers, fans, heat. All of these things are monitored by this box here. This box here is just kind of a slave to this guy here, and it takes everything this program is telling it, and it does the work for it. So that way the farmer's not having to individually adjust hundreds of thermostats in that house every day on brooders, on fans, on everything else that operates this house. So it makes life better for the grower in terms of it allows that person the ability to spend more time with their chickens. Now, don't fall into the trap of thinking this can grow your chickens. It cannot grow your chickens and do a good job. You, as the grower, you need to be in that chicken house. This is here to assist you. It's not here to take your place. And if you allow that to happen, if you let the controller grow the chickens and you don't spend enough time in the chicken house, you're not going to do a good job because it does what the program tells it to, but you need to be in that chicken house and then adjust off of this guy here what you're seeing inside that chicken house. So, so don't fall into the trap to let the controller grow your chickens for you or you're not going to do as good as what you would like. Tom, can you tell us a little bit about if this system fails, what happens with the alarms and whatnot? Okay, behind me, there's something called an expanded backup control. It's got a lot more toggle switches on it. There are backups inside this guy here if this guy and that guy begins to fail. So these guys can help us out in terms of running fans. There's also another box on this wall over here. That is what we call the phone dialer box. That box has my phone number in it. It has our farm manager's number in it. And if something goes wrong in this house, let's say the power was to go off. We've got a backup generator, but if we lose power and that backup generator comes on, that phone dialer is going to know that. It's going to know power lost, and it's going to know something switched over, and it's going to call me, and if I don't answer it and acknowledge that, yeah, I know it tried to call, it'll call our farm manager, and it'll keep looping through phone numbers until somebody replies and lets that system know that everything is okay. So again, this is, a, again, a protection device. It helps keep your chicken safe. It helps you be aware of whether you've got issues inside that chicken house or not. 
And all of these things together, the cool cells, the fans, the controller, the phone dialer, all of those things are technological advances that we did not have 20, 30, 40 years ago raising chickens that helps growers do a better job and keep their flock safe these days.